Hey, Phantom Maniacs, welcome to the newest unboxing here on the Needless Things YouTube channel. Today we are taking a look at Robot Reaper Frozen Death from Super 7's The Worst, their original line of action figures, all uh, concepts that they have come up with on their own. Uh, you may have seen my review for the regular colorway of Robot Reaper. Please do check it out if you haven't. This is an awesome figure. Uh, and as I explained during the Black Falcon review, Super 7 had a sale where everything in stock was 23% off, and then they had free shipping, and I decided that even though these are... Because I've been collecting the reaction figures of the worst, but I just haven't... With all the stuff that's out there, I just haven't... Won, I haven't had the budget to buy uh, Ultimates of the worst. I just haven't. you got to make decisions. Uh, but the price was right on these. I pulled the trigger, and Black Falcon is awesome. Go watch that review now if you haven't. Uh, and I'm very excited about the Frozen Death Robot Reaper because I already know it's an awesome figure, and I'm very excited to see this translucent blue ice version. Uh, you can see the ice deco on the packaging on this incredible die-cut window. Uh, Super 7 are, e even though they have cut down on their packaging, they are still masters of beautiful packaging. Uh, which the the I don't find the mailer and the slipcover to have been necessary anyway. So I'm I'm great with being able to see the figure, you know, on day one now. Uh, back of the box, we've got a little bio. Robot Reaper Frozen Death. System warning, Robot Reaper, the robotic harbinger of death, has been detected. This eerie electronic emissary of external extermination is hardwired for horror and programmed for pain. A freezing cold calculating computer with a corrupted file broken from a forgotten polar ice cap. Mercy does not compute. Each victim faces a binary decision and Robot Reaper always chooses zero for delete. Escape is impossible. Everyone will be powered down. Rebooting is not an option. Press any key to die. There are good guys. There are bad guys. Then there are the worst. So there you go. I love, I just love everything about it. I mean, you guys know I'm a huge mark for Super 7. I love their products. Uh, I, they, they just, their ideals, their aesthetics, everything about the company I adore. That is a killer backdrop. I will be using that for the thumbnail for sure. Uh, they just make the stuff that I want to buy. And I would... If... I can't make big crazy statements. Like, if I had to pick one company to buy from for the rest of my life, it would be Super 7. But... Super 7 would be in the decision. For sure. And and you got to think if you know if the deity we we always used to uh, we always would do the would you rather, and there you know there has to be somebody making these offers these diabolical offers to you so we always referred to that somebody as the deity and depending on where we were doing you know the would you rather thing, uh, we would assign somebody oh I just messed up my my mat here oh jeez. Uh, pardon my canned air. I've had a little workspace catastrophe. Speaking of work. All right, hang on. Let me straighten this out. Uh, but we would assign somebody to be the deity because sometimes when you're throwing a would you rather out there, uh, there are conditions that need to be determined and explained. And I feel like the person offering the would you rather doesn't necessarily get to define those things and certainly the person making the choice doesn't get to define those things so we would have a third party and refer to them as the deity uh, so the would you rather deity remember that next time you're having a a lively conversation with whoever all right so i've already established uh, with the, oh man, those joints already feel nice. So this one, I'm probably, uh, the problem I had with the original Robot Reaper, he looks so good without the robe. And I love the robe, and the robe is what makes him a Reaper. Uh, but this is such a cool looking figure. It's hard to put 
this big black robe on top of him, which as you can see, he's still at my workspace because I can't decide what to do with him. But this one has a nice translucent robe with, by the way, still a wire armature in the hood. So you can get that hood uh, sort of scrunched down and posed however you want, which is a great touch. Um, but this... I believe I described the belt as whack and I am sticking with that description because it is not rubber. It is not soft goods. Sorry. There we go. It is not soft goods. It is literally just a piece of twine, a thicker version of the stuff Hasbro was using to hold figures in place over the last few years. And it's not great. Uh, I wish it was well. I wish it wasn't twine, but if it was going to be twine, I wish it was longer so it would hang better. I'm just not a fan of this decision. Otherwise, the figure is phenomenal. So you can see this great sort of ghostly, translucent uh, robe. You can see the details of the figure underneath. So there is a good chance I'm going to leave it in the robe, but we got to take the robe off so we can uh, take a closer look at the figure. Uh, you've got Velcro all the way up the back. And look at the little details. You've got the torn open spot here. The sleeves that are all ragged. Same thing with the bottom. Very well done piece of soft goods. So I'm just going to pull that Velcro apart. I feel like I didn't have to take the head off of the other one. To get the robe off. It is taking a little more effort than I thought it would though. Oh yeah, that doesn't quite want to go over his head. Maybe I should pop the head off. I guess I'll pop the head off. Oh, look at that beautiful translucent blue. That's oh, great. Okay, so we're going to pop the head off. There we go. Like I said, I don't remember doing that on the other one, but maybe I did. Uh, so there is your ghosty robe. Your default head, which again, just a beautiful translucent blue. And then the body, which Ice Robot is not necessarily a concept uh, that would have occurred to me ever. And certainly not something I would think, oh yes, I must have an ice robot, but how cool does that look? Uh, you'll notice the joints are a solid plastic, which I am good with, uh, because those discs need to be stronger than the surrounding plastic so we don't run into any problems. Uh, he's got a rotating bicep, a rotating uh, rotational point at the top of his elbow, but you're not going to get a lot out of that, it doesn't look like, which is fine with me. Uh, the hand, if you can see the hinge is, well, here, we need to do a little zoom. Uh, the hinge is kind of inside, but you've still got a decent little range there. Look at that just beautiful translucent plastic and all that sculpted detail. Look at the cool abdominal joint, the way that that moves around those pistons and that like pseudo c3po looking lower tor lower abdomen uh those nice clear pistons right there uh it's got the standard super seven hip joints with ro all the joints are moving really nicely uh that was i was really nervous about these and moving the articulation but black falcon moved great uh, and this Robot Reaper is moving really nicely, too. You can see because he's got a robot, the knee goes forward a little bit more. Oh, yeah. Look, I'm not going to lie, I'm nervous. I knew I was going to go into these and move these joints very, very carefully, but uh, they're moving around great. Uh, so his feet, because of the way they're designed... They don't have as much turn as some feet do, but they're still pretty good. I love the way that like 
toes are done here. He's great. He is absolutely great. And, and honestly moves better than the regular Robot Reaper. What, what, a, what a set of minds to have come up with this wacky design and then to have made it an ice robot. So, there's more than just the figure. You have an alternate head, which is really, really cool, but I can't not use a robot skull. I dig it, but I'm just not, uh, I'm not doing it. You got the translucent plastic on the top here. Really nice looking piece. Uh, you have a set of alternate hands. I love the pointing hand. It's a nice touch. Uh, and then you've got C grips. Uh, pointing hand for the other side, and then fists for punching. You have definitely not a Game Boy, right? <laughs> Non-copyright infringing portable gaming unit, whatever you want to call it. A floppy disk with frozendeath.exe. And the awesome thing about this floppy disk is, check this out. That goes right in his noggin because his program is frozen death. Uh, and then finally, his scythe, sickle, scythe, whatever. Uh, really nice wood grain sculpted on that handle there. You can see, and then a translucent blue blade at the top. Kind of ugly flash on that. I'm a little surprised. I've, I noticed this as well. A little surprised to see that. It looks a little unfinished, but uh, still an awesome piece. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with this guy and this guy. They're so awesome. And I've just got to figure out different things to do with them. Maybe this one's going to get the Game Boy and be a little funnier since I'll have this. Like, maybe I'll make the Ice one a little more traditional Reaper-y uh, since he will be... He's got the Ice gimmick. Uh, so he can be a little more traditional because he's going he's gonna to stand out more. And then maybe this one's a little funnier just standing around with the Game Boy. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Probably he's going to end up on my workbench for months just like this guy has now. Uh, or weeks at least. Yeah, It's been about a month. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But there you go. Another awesome figure from Super 7. Uh, excellently executed. I'm thrilled to have it. And... I got to say, yes, I got those guys on sale, but I, I, having them in hand now, they would have been worth the full price, 100%. So uh, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, tell your friends about needless things, and uh, keep an eye out for those sales, and buy what you like. Smash that like button if you like needless things. <laughs>